You know what's really wicked awesome? Brand new beer. You know what's more wicked awesome? New beer from Nickelbrook, a New England style IPA. Let's get into this. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for the Ruski Brewski Review. And today the beer I have for you is brand new by Nickelbrook, with a little bit of an asterisk say there on the brand new part. I'll tell you why in a second. This is their Wicked Awesome IPA. Strong beer coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. And IBUs, 64 IBUs. Now, why do I say this is brand new? Well, this was part of their mystery pack. You might remember they had it out in the LCBO late last year. Um, I'm pretty sure it was late last year, if, if I'm not mistaken. They had four beers, and us, the consumers, and the beer lovers were given the task of picking which one, A, B, C, or D, to have them make one and become part of their new core brand series, or part of their core brand series. And I think this one was, I want to say it was beer number, or beer letter C. If I'm not mistaken, I could be, I don't exactly remember. They had a few. I think they had like a Session IPA, a Stout, a Sour, and then this one, the New England IPA. And the New England IPA won. So, before we crack into it, looking at the can, it's a white can, white and blue. Same sort of like the um, mystery packs were, but it's got some purple in there. It's got a... Uh, well, like what's that like a jaguar or some sort of a carn carnivorous feline cat jungle cat there on the front really cool looks pretty wicked awesome I really like the can design that they did on this one so let's crack it open and let's see what we got pouring it into my collective arts spigaloo give it a nice pour there I love me a New England IPA and I'm quite happy that it won in the mystery pack. So, looking at the beer, very decently hazy. Can't see through it. Can't see me through it. That's awesome. Um, good, a little, little bit of a white head on there. Looks just, just looks inviting. Like a New England IPA should. Looks nice and juicy. Let's have a smell. I'm coming up with like pineapple, mangoes. Grapefruit and citrus right off the nose. Nice and uh, nice use of hops, kind of light and crisp, even uh, aroma coming through, even though 6.5% and 64 IBU is not going to be the lightest thing in the world, but smells nice and refreshing. Let's give it a bit of a swirl, open up the flavors just a touch. Wow, everything just gets way more intensified. Maybe a touch of papaya in there that I'm getting? I don't know. Smells damn good. Let's have a sip. Whoa. Mangoes and pineapples right in your face. Nice pine, hoppy, um, I guess, flavor around the beer, around on your taste buds, and then a solid grapefruit, lingering bitter bitteriness, pininess, on your tongue that just lingers with a uh, nice touch of like citrus rind in a sense. Pretty damn good. It goes down really, really smooth. Let's keep drinking. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. That is good. It's not heavy. Uh, of the bleh of like a New England IPA. Some New Englands can be what I seem kind of heavy for a style. Not heavy in the stomach, just a lot. Like a very big, I guess in, in a sense, almost thicker mouthfeel. This beer doesn't really uh, have that bit, bit more light on its feet, light on the tongue sort of thing. It's not a light flavor, just a nice crisper sort of um, sort of mouthfeel. It's, it's very easy to drink, goes down smooth, no complaints at all. So far, it's a solid New England. Really, really enjoy it. Let's see what the can has to say for itself. Wicked Awesome IPA, New England style. Winner of our, yeah, 
winner of our first ever mystery pack vote, this New England IPA is a people's champ for a reason. Hazy, dank, and juicy with a big tropical bite. It's pretty friggin' sweet. No way, it's wicked awesome. Beer down to a science, Brewer's Elements. The malts are Pilsner, Golden uh, Primacy, uh, Wheat Malt, and Flaked Oats. Hops are Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe, and the yeast is a Vermont yeast. Ingredients are water, malted barley, flaked wheat, dextrose, hops, and yeast. 6.5% ABV, 64 IBUs, unfiltered, and recommended serving glass is a nonic pint. Nickel Brook is from Burlington, Ontario, if I didn't mention that earlier. Now looking for a brood on day on the bottom, F0618, June 6th of 2018. So I guess on the anniversary of D-Day, that's kind of cool. That's totally unrelated, but fun fact. Um, really like to see the uh, um, bottled on or best before dates on a beer. Perfect that they have that. Nickelbrook has a lot of information on their cans from ABVs, IBUs, brewed on dates, ingredients, brewers elements, description. They have it all. Solid, solid use of can real estate. Hmm. I remember having this beer in the mystery pack and I'm thinking this is the one that needs to win and I'm very very happy that the people that all the consumers and all the beer lovers who bought the mystery pack had the uh, had the same thoughts that I did that they needed a New England on their core list looking over here on the website now nickelbrook.com come down to the wicked awesome IPA and it says the winner of our first ever mystery pack the people's champ IPA is a hazy juice bomb with a ton of citrus and tropical hops with a creamy finish. Pairs beautifully with cheesesteaks, deep dish pizza, and a wicked Boston accent. Available now at the LCBO, Bottle Shop, and our online stores. I like how they incorporated little food pairings to their uh, secondary description of the beer. That is perfect to see. Again, ABVs and IBUs are also listed on the website. So. Wow, I just love it when also breweries put food pairings on because sometimes I want to know, I want to have a beer but I want to have some food, what do I pair it with? For me, I'm not always 100% sure, but I like it when breweries do that. Take the time and effort to put in what sort of foods would go well with that particular beer that they're brewing because that's just, that's dedication right there. At least that's what I think. Mm. So juicy, nice and creamy. Still light on its feet, but wow. Big tropical aromas, big tropical flavor. Nice pine, nice hoppy aromas and flavors, just solid, solid as solid can be. Finally, moving over to here onto Untapped, Wicked Awesome has been given a 3.86 bottle caps out of five. And that's out of 695 ratings. This is a very new beer. Um, so it's still, it's still getting some ratings, but so far, so good in my opinion. Mm. Wow. Sadly, I haven't found this beer yet at the LCBOs in my hometown. Um, I only found this out in St. Catharines. So hopefully by the time I get back home, it's gonna be in the LCBO so I can pick up more because this is definitely a, um, uh, not a daily pickup, but definitely um, each time I go, I would like to probably pick up a few and just enjoy it during the night. It's not too heavy where you can enjoy a few. Um, it's not gonna overtake your taste buds or kick you in the ass with uh, IBUs or ABVs. With that said, I am down on my final sip, so I'm gonna drink this and get right to my ratings. Cheers on the final sip. Mm. Tremendous, that is wicked awesome. Nickelbrook, wicked awesome IPA. Flavors are beautiful, aromas really, really kick ass. Gotta get, gotta hand it to you guys. Solid nine out of 10 for me. Phenomenal, phenomenally well done. You guys make some pretty good beer anyway, um, so I didn't expect anything less. As for presentation, all the information on here, guys, look, just look. Look at that. It looks awesome. Images look great. Ingredient, no, that's not the ingredients. Ingredients, all the information about the beer is on here, on the website. Food pairings, 
perfect. Overall for presentation, solid 10 out of 10 for that. Solid 10 out of 10. Definitely go to the LCBO, pick up a can or two, and enjoy this tasty, tasty brew. With all that said, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like the video or subscribe to me, Maple Ruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. As for my question of the day, good question that I think Nickelbrook might want uh, to be answered as well is if they did another mystery pack or other breweries did sort of like mystery packs or their own version of it trying to um, I guess test out different beer styles that they might want to make into a core brand what are your thoughts on that personally I think Nickelbrook did it did it right let the consumer decide you know let what their drinkers and, and the people that they sell to decide on what kind of beer should be should be brewed as like a full-time beer so I gotta give props to you Nickelbrook that was an awesome awesome way to figure out what beer should be a part of your core brand so cheers to that with all that said that's gonna do it for me Maple Ruski. and like I always say crack a beer and enjoy cheers <laughs>